Good day to each and every one of you. So welcome to our session four. But before that, we will be having a short review or recap on your lessons on the previous weeks. So in your screen, palagay dyan, make a sentence using the words below. We have earthquake epicenters, mountain ranges, volcanoes, clustered Pacific ring of fire, earth's crust, plates, and plate tectonics theory. So using these eight words, you will be constructing your own sentence, which will be the basis kung ano yung natutunan ninyo from your first week hanggang third week, okay, ng lesson natin. So again, the words are earthquake epicenters, mountain ranges, volcanoes, clustered, Pacific ring of fire, earth's crust, plates, and plate tectonics. Okay, so you will be writing your answer on the comment section or pwede rin pong i-direct message ninyo sa inyong subject teacher para mas mabilis, pwede na kayong mag-send na lang ng voice clip sa messenger. Okay, so again, titigan yung eight words and I will give you only 10 seconds to answer. Okay, so it is better na direct message using your voice clip or using your uh, sound recorders the phone. Okay, so let's start. The countdown starts now. Okay, time's up. So, ano ang aking sagot? So, let me share you my answer. Earthquake epicenters, mountain ranges, and volcanoes are clustered mostly in the Pacific Ring of Fire that made the scientists conclude that the Earth's crust is divided into several segments called plates, which led to the discovery of the plate tectonics theory. So, remember that the location of these three the earthquake epicenters, mountain ranges, and volcanoes are significant to our scientists to discover the plate tectonics theory. So it states that our Earth's crust is divided into several segments called plates. So ang Earth's crust daw natin ay hindi siya buong kalupaan, kundi binubuo siya ng maraming kalupaan or tipak ng lupa. Okay. Kalupaan na hindi kapuluan. Iba yung kapuluan sa kalupaan. Okay? Now, we will be proceeding sa plate boundary. So, it is connected on our discussions or lessons for your first three weeks. Kasi dahil sa location, nung tatlo, the mountain ranges, earthquake epicenters, and volcanoes, the scientists discovered the plate boundaries. Okay? So, we will be discussing the definition and types of plate boundaries. So, what are plate boundaries? These are places where distortion of crust happens. When we say distortion, the deform, deformation of the crust. Okay? This is also the place where most of geologic features such as volcanoes, mountains, and valley can be seen. Okay? Most of geologic features, yung mga Volcanoes natin, mountain ranges, and valley, malapit sila kalimitan sa plate boundaries. Not all, kasi meron ding isang uh, way pa para magbuo ang volcano. Okay, so we will be discussing that um, in the latter part of your module. Okay, so it involves two or more plates interacting with each other. So it is two or more, hindi isang plate lang. Okay, it involves two or more plates interacting with each other because it is ripple effect. Once nagumalaw yung isang plate or yung isang tipak ng lupa, gagalaw yung kalapit nila na tipak ng lupa. And also, there is something underneath the crust na merong uh, process na nag nagdudulot dun sa crust natin para gumalaw din. Okay, so i-discuss natin yan later on. Uh, next week, preferably, okay? Remember, plate boundaries involves two or more plates. Hindi lang siya isa. 
Now, what are the types of plate boundaries? The first one is convergent plate boundary, wherein the plates move towards each other. Okay, the plates move toward each other. As you can see here in the picture, yung arrow natin ay pa toward each other. So, bungguan. There is a collision between two plates. Okay, as you can see here, we have the oceanic crust and the continental crust. So, these are the two types of crust. Oceanic crust, nasa ilalim siya ng ocean. Okay, and other form ng uh, tubig, and yung tubig. And then, continental crust, ito yung sa continents. As you can see, oceanic crust is thinner. Mas manipis compare sa continental crust. Ang continental crust ay thicker. And as you can see here, lumubog ang oceanic crust. Nung bumangga siya dito kay continental crust. Why? It is because of their density. Ang density ng oceanic crust ay mas mataas compared sa density ng continental crust. It is because oceanic crust has basaltic rocks. Masiksik yun. Pag sinabi kasing denser, masiksik. Okay? And then, continental crust, it is composed of granitic rocks, granite. Then, dito sa oceanic crust is basalt. Okay? Yun yung dahilan kung bakit kapag nagbungguan ng dalawang continental crust, the uh, oceanic crust and continental crust, the oceanic crust tends to subduct or to move uh, below the continental crust. Kasi denser. Okay? Geologic formations are volcanic island arc, trenches, and mountains. So, as you can see here, meron tayong trench. Kailan ba nabubuo ang trench kapag may oceanic crust na involved? Remember that. Trench is the deepest part of the ocean. Okay? And then we have here the volcanic arc. Pag sinabing volcanic arc, vulcan. Ayan. Yung lava here, oh. Ayan po. So, the details of this will be discussed next week. Yun yung schedule natin doon. Iisa-isahin natin yung processes that happens in each type of uh, plate boundary. Okay? Now, convergent plate boundaries has three types depending on the crust involved. So, the first one kanina, we had discussed the oceanic crust and then the continental crust collision. Pwede rin naman two oceanic crusts that is uh, colliding with each other. As you can see here, ayan, collision pa rin yan kasi toward each other pa rin sila. And if the, what do you call this, if there is two oceanic crusts, Ayan, yung isa magsasabdak, yung isa ay hindi. Okay, kalimitan ang nagsasabdak is the older oceanic crust. Okay, yung mas matandang oceanic crust ang lulubog dun sa younger oceanic crust. Okay, and uh, dun sa oceanic continental crust, there is the formation of volcanic arc here. In oceanic oceanic crust, there is the formation on uh, formation of island arc, volcanic island arc. Big sabihin, isla. Bakit siya isla? Kasi napapalibutan siya ng tubig. Here, it is volcanic arc kasi wala naman siyang tubig na nakapalibot sa kanya. Dito lang sa kanyang uh, left side. Okay, so again, there is the formation of trench and my subduction process. Ay, pag sinabing subduction, yung paglubog ng isang crust or ng paglubog ng oceanic crust. Okay? And then the last type is the continental-continental uh, collision or convergence. Okay? As you can see, walang nangyaring subduction dito, nakatulad dito sa taas, kasi lahat yan ay pa angat. Why is it pa angat or um, moving upward, it is because pareha silang less dense. Pag pareha silang less dense, pag nagbungguan sila, aangat, magiging bundok or mountain ranges. Okay? Unlike doon sa 
oceanic and continental or oceanic oceanic once na nag-collide sila or nag-converge, nagpungguan, yung isa ay magsasabdok. Hanggang pumunta sa mantel, matunaw dahil sa sobrang init. Pag continental, continental, aangat, magiging mountain. Okay, so the three types of convergence or convergent plate boundary is oceanic continental convergence, oceanic oceanic convergence and continental continental convergence okay and ay inasa inyo learning task number two so please take note of this okay ayan so this is an example of collision of two continental plates it is the formation of himalayan plates uh conversion of indian australian and eurasian plate which led to the formation of Himalayas. Okay? Bakit sikat ang Himalayas? Okay, dahil na andyan ang Mount Everest. Okay, so ibalik natin dito some uh, example, real-life example ng ating oceanic-oceanic convergence is the Philippines, the Philippine Archipelago. Nabuo ang ating bansa sa convergence ng two oceanic uh, crust. Okay. Ayan. So, this one is naman sa continental, uh, sa two continental is uh, the Himalayas. And then, dun sa oceanic crust, siya continental crust, ito ay yung common na formation sa halos, uh, halos maraming uh, landforms. Okay. Ayan. Ito yung sa atin sa Philippines. Si Eurasian Plate at si Pacific Plate, ayan, nag-converge. Eurasian and Pacific Plate nag-converge na buo si um, Philippine Archipelago na pagtagal, ayan, nagkaroon na tayo ng Philippine Plate. Okay, so ayan, ang different types of plate or samples, examples of plate. The second type of plate boundary is divergent plate boundary where plates move away from each other. Palayo. Convergent, move toward. Uh, divergent, move away. Palayo. Okay, so significant geologic formations are reef valleys and oceanic ridges. So as you can see, wala ditong mountain, wala ditong uh, trench. Okay, so as you can see here in the picture, no arrow niya ay pahiwalay. They are moving away from each other. And then this one is the fissure part or this is called the oceanic ridge. Okay, it is called an underwater mountain kasi kung titignan nyo para siyang mountain but not necessarily na para talaga siyang bundok sa ilalim ng tubig. Elevated lang siya dun sa may... Uh, fissure, kung saan lumalabas ang magma. Pero, hindi siya talaga parang bundok ang style na mataas. Nga parang pabundok nga ang dating. Ano lang siya? Kamukha ng bundok. Kaya tinawag siya na underwater mountain. Okay? So, as you can see here, uh, this, uh, this is two oceanic crust moving away from each other. Since they are moving away from each other, nagkakaroon ng crater doon sa gitna. Doon lumalabas ang magma. Okay? So, this picture shows how an ocean is being formed. So, we will be discussing this on detail or in detail next week. You know, from here, ito naman the uh, separation of two continental plates or continental crust. Kihiwalay hanggang sa maging oceanic basin na siya. Okay? So, kanina sa convergent plate boundary, we have the formation of mountains, volcanoes. Okay? Here, sa ating divergent plate boundary, we have the formation of ocean basin. Ayan. So, that is an example. Also, this is the mid-Atlantic ridge. Ayan. Kung napansin nyo, this is the fissure. And then this one, ayan po yung sahig. Kung mapapansin nyo, lupa na rin siya dyan. 
Kasi even though the magma is oozing upward, siyempre matutuyo siya because of the temperature of the oceanic crust. Mas malamig. And kapag mas malamig, na tutuyo yung ating um, magma. And solidifies and turned into seafloor. Okay? And then the last type of uh, plate boundary is the transform fault boundary wherein the plates move, slide past each other or grind past each other. Significant geologic event is earthquake. Okay, so as you can see here, sliding. Convergent is collision, moving toward. Divergent is moving away. And then transform fault is sliding past each other sliding okay sliding lang so in transform fault boundary there is no uh, significant geologic feature ayan so event ang meron tayo here we have the earthquake but most or all of the plate boundaries dahil nagmove ang plate lahat yan ay magpo-produce ng earthquake okay very good uh, again Sliding pass, nag slide lang yung plates natin sa transform fault boundary. Ayan, so this is an example. If you are familiar, this is the San Andreas Fault. Ayan, kung makikita nyo dyan, dahil nag slide siya, nade-deform yung lupa para siyang gusot. Diba kapag ang uh, tela uh, ginalaw ninyo sa taas, nagkakaroon siya ng gusot. So, this is an example ng paggalaw ng lupa. Nade-deform yung lupa. Ayan. So, what are the geologic events that may take place as the plates move? So, the number one is earthquake. Remember, uh, if the plates converge, diverge, or slide past each other, earthquake is being produced. Okay, kasi yung manig, uh, gumalaw yung lupa, shaking of the ground, magkakaroon ng earthquake yan. And then, volcanic eruption. So, as you can uh, recall, in conversion plate boundary, there is the formation of volcanic island arc at volcanic arc. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng volcanic eruption. Doon naman sa divergent plate boundary, since they are uh, separating or moving away from each other, nagkakaroon ng opening sa Earth's crust. So, remember that any opening in the Earth's crust is considered as volcano. Kaya, volcanic eruption underwater naman yun. Okay, and then, tsunami, if uh, nasa, may involve na oceanic crust. Okay? And remember, kapag nandun na tayo sa Pacific Ring of Fire, which is surrounded talaga ng water because of the Pacific Ocean. Okay, and the other part of the world, nandun naman ng uh, Atlantic Ocean. Okay, tsaka yung Antarctic Ocean. That's why tsunami is really, or can happen when uh, the plates move. Okay, so again, earthquake will occur in all type of plate boundaries when the plate, uh, when the plates move. Okay, and then this, take look of this or take note of this: volcanic eruption, subduction, and tsunami happens when oceanic plates are involved. Okay, and also kapag sa lupa naman kung merong malapit to na bulkan. But remember, kapag may volcano, possible na may subduction zone doon. Okay? So, the types of plate boundaries have an accompaniment of fault. Okay? So, meaning, sa isang type ng plate boundary, since may two plates na involved, meron tayong accompanied na type of fault. So, para mas malaman natin yung mabuti. Ayan. So, pag convergent, we have the thrust fault or compression. Nasa nung thrust fault? Ayan. Convergence. Okay. And then, divergent plate boundary is a normal fault 
pulling apart. As you can see here, ayan, the normal fold moving away. And then, a uh, transform fold is a strike strip, a uh, strike slip fold or the shearing fold. Slide pass. Okay, so here, the reverse fold. And this is also for um, divergent. Ang kaibahan lang naman ng uh, normal tsaka ng reverse, nasaan yung hanging wall. Okay? Yan. So, again, we have the three types of plate boundaries. We have the convergent plate boundary, divergent plate, and transform fold. Boundary. Convergent plate boundary, meron tayong three types. Oceanic, uh, continental convergence, oceanic, oceanic, and continental, continental convergence. Okay? Please take note of the uh, geologic features that, be, uh, that is being formed in each type of plate boundary for your preparation on your lesson next week. Okay? So, congratulations. This is the end of our lecture about the types of plate boundaries. Hope you've learned a lot. See you on our next topic. Okay, so thank you and God bless.